Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by Datacom Solutions, Fellowship of Faith, and Huntsville Hospital. Bulldog fans, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs journey to Mobile, Alabama for the inaugural Gulf Coast Challenge playing Southern University. It was supposed to be a home game in normal, but plans change and we end up in Mobile. Coach, you come up two points short in a very exciting ball game. Yeah, you know, uh, got off to a great start. Um, you know, they drove the ball down and scored on us and, um, you know, we, you know, okay, it's our turn. We take it back down and scored on them and was able to get some turnovers and get some more scores and um, had a, had a two-score two lead there, 21-6 to six, uh, early. And, uh, and then we just start trying to hang on. You know, it seemed like the guys uh, just started to try to hang on. And we got some bad field position there in the uh, second quarter and uh, never got a chance to get out. You know, we got the safety and then mm -hmm. we got backed up again. And, and then we finally settled down and, and uh, right before the half and uh, got that punt, uh, roughing the punter. And uh, sudden change, they took it down to score before the half, make it a six-point game. And now it's just one play away. And uh, they had all the momentum. and. Um, you know, and took advantage of it. Of course, Southern is allowed to make plays, Coach, but the Bulldogs had several plays and several opportunities to make big plays. We did. That's the bright side of it. You know, uh, you take your hats off to Coach Odom and Southern University for not quitting. But at the end of the day, we had a chance to make plays and we dropped balls and, and missed reads and, uh, and uh, things of that nature that, that cost you ball games. And uh, we was right there. We got a young football team uh, that's not used to winning and being in those situations. And so, uh, the more that we get in those situations, the better to be, and, and we'll be able to come out on top. Coming out of this ball game, Coach, what were your thoughts about the attitude of your team? Um, you know, they was hurt. They was hurt, you know, um, as, as they supposed to be, uh, blowing a lead like that in a game that we thought we should have won um, and could have won. So, uh, but overall, they know that we still got some work to do. We still control our own destiny. I'll tell you about that a little bit later and we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs. Darrell brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville. 100,000 watts, 24 hours a day. Smooth jazz and cool vocals. I'm just a prisoner of love. I get misty just holding your hand. 90.9 WJAB. From the campus of Alabama A&M University. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Yeah.
thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie, your host. Bulldogs down in Mobile, coach. It's a very humid day, a lot of wind out there. The pregame warm-ups, watching the specialist, I know you were thinking about what the wind could do to the ball game. Yeah, I knew that it could play a, a big part in the game. Um, I told the guys we want to defer and uh, kick with the wind if we won the toss. And if not, of course, we took the ball and uh, we took the ball and they, they kicked with the win. But we still got off to a great start in that win the first quarter. And uh, it, really didn't, it really didn't play a big part in the game early. Your student athletes, Coach, already have a lot to do in their lives. A game like this with a lot of activities that the student athletes had to participate in upset your schedule just a little bit. Well, yeah, you can always have that in classics. You know, you got um, the movement. You know, we had to leave our hotel to eat uh, all our meals, uh, which we don't normally do. And so we had a lot of stuff going on that, you know, um, I would like to just keep stuff the way we would normally do it. You know, stay at the hotel, stay in our routine, stay focused on the, on the football game and without all the moving around and the, the police lights and all this stuff. Um, you know, we just want to get ready to play some football. And, of course, six Bulldogs are from Mobile. They have to see their family members, and their family members got to see them play. That's always exciting. It is. That's one of the reasons that we recruit the state. Um, you know, we play in Birmingham, we play in Mobile, we play here. So anytime, uh, you know, we play in the state, a lot of our guys get their parents and, and family come to see them. And of course, we want to say happy birthday to your wife. Yep, happy birthday, baby. <laughs> and now the Bulldogs are dressed in all maroon with our white helmets. Coming out of the tunnel, Coach, you hold the football up. Is there any significance to that? It was first conference game, man. It's time to play, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, just want to add some excitement, get the Get the guys pumped up, get the crowd pumped up and uh, ready to go. I know what you're talking about, Coach. We want to stay in your routine. We had an opportunity to talk to one of the senators from the state of Alabama, Doug Jones, during the ball game. And to do that and call a ball game was kind of taxing on us. We see Southern with their opening drive that ends in a score. Yeah, they, um, they came out and they didn't do a lot on this opening drive. Uh, we covered them up pretty good. And uh, the quarterback kind of scrambled out a couple of plays and hurt us there. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, they took it down and scored on us. And, you know, that's, they football, they practice like we do. Here's the kickoff. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brian Jenkins here returning. He almost popped this little shoestring tackle right there. Without that, and no telling, he could have he took that a long ways. Jenkins was really intense on Friday night, Coach, wanting to make a play, saying he had not helped the team enough this season. Well, Jenkins is a competitor, and uh, he's helped the team plenty. He led us in receiving yesterday, and uh, he's right there every week. So. Um, you know, he, he's just a competitor. He wants to win and he wants to help out as much as he can. Akeel Glass, the Bulldogs quarterback, was 17 of 29, no interceptions, had two passing touchdowns and ran for one. Yeah, Akeel played great. Um, as we see Bentley right here breaking this run in the first to get us back tied up and uh, we take the lead here with the extra point. But Akeel played great. Um, like I say, like you said, he's 19 for 29. And, he, and we had some drops too, so he really played better than that. Of course, you're watching Jordan Bentley doing what Jordan Bentley does, a 44-yard touchdown run. Yep, made one guy miss and then had the speed to take it to the house. So um, he's a big-time player. His speed is deceptive too, Coach. It is. It is. He's probably picked up a step. And we thank to Lonnie Brown and the coaches and the strength and conditioning program. Bulldogs go up 7-6 to six because Southern missed their extra point. Correct. And, uh, you know, the, we know anytime you miss a point, extra point early, it could cost you down the road. But... Uh, it didn't wind up costing them guys. Here's one of the two turnovers on interceptions the Bulldogs had yesterday, one of the Holloway twins. Yes, sir. Imani uh, made a great pick right there. He's a great athlete, and uh, he's going to continue to play well for us. He's a big, tall corner with, with a lot of athletic ability. Some will notice on your offensive scheme, Coach, that you might run multiple plays on the same play. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, RPOs and options, and it uh, just depends on what the defense do, what we're going to do. Kendrick Johnson gets his first touchdown as a Bulldog. Congratulations to the Buckhorn High School product. The Bulldogs are up and driving again. Yeah, this is uh, Kendrick. Um, he uh, acted like he was going to block the guy and then slip down the sideline on him, and it's a great fake by Kill and Bentley. And that's uh, a great football play right there. You have a lot of student athletes coached with FR or SO or R in front of their classification, a very young football team. Yeah, we do. We have a very young football team. We had a big recruiting class this year. And, um, so the guys are still learning. It's still, it's still a process, and, um, and here's another pick here by Rowe. 
Uh, he threw it right to him. He overshot the guy. I wish he would stay down the outside line and see what happened right there, but, you know, he's a DB. He's not a running back. So. <laughs> Romel Fields with an interception. The Chicago, Illinois native coach has been playing quite well this season. One time he was the second leading tackler on the team. He did. He has been playing well. That was a big play for us right there to get us the ball back. And uh, Akil working the pocket here finds Jenkins. And uh, I think we've got a penalty right here, face mask. And on that play, coach, with the additional yardage, the Bulldogs have another opportunity to score. Here's Jordan Bentley's second touchdown of the ball game. Right. Uh, the play we hit him up, we call it gut. Um, when we spread them out, and mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't lean nobody in the middle field, we'll, we'll sneak Bentley down the middle. And here it is, a replay of the play. Bentley avoids the tackle, spins into the end zone. Bulldogs go up 21-6 at the half, Coach. Now, as most of us thought, we were in control of the ball game. Well, I mean, it was, I think it was 21-13. Um, 21, 21, yes, sir. 21-13, so we were, we were still in control, but we lost the momentum, and we lost it because of a uh, rough and the punter. And then they got the ball and drove it down to school right before the half. So um, we kind of lost momentum there. Uh, but we was getting the ball coming out. We, what we need to do was take it down and score coming out. And uh, we drove it down, but we bogged down at the 30. Now we noticed the Bulldog defense yesterday, Coach, was all over the field as we see another turnover opportunity just coming up short. Yeah, we, uh, we had the opportunity right there, and we just uh, didn't execute it. We, you know, we dropped it. We had a couple of those, uh, those, those plays like that. So. You know, I tell the guys all the time, you never know when a big play is going to come your way. And uh, don't count your reps, make your reps count. So, um, you know, it's, that's not called for right here. Guy jumps off sides, five-yard penalty, but it would have put them in third and ten, and now they got second and five. And so those types of plays right there that, that's overlooked that, you know, winning teams and championship teams don't do. Mm -hmm. you, you just don't make those type of mistakes. And so that's what we're trying to get to. And uh, that's what we got to get correct, and we'll get it done. Of course, Coach, you're thinking about from the pregame aspect and moving around. Did that have any effect on your team's attitude or concentration? No, no. Um, you know, um, no. Nah. We we got to get it done. We got to we got to make it happen. That's what champions do. That's what winners do. They find a way when you have some adversity. You just you find a way to get it done. Um, losers losers make excuses and. Uh, and uh, don't get it done. And so uh, we just got to get it done. We want to thank Michael Burns for his fine work yesterday. The broadcasting team was not located in our usual spot at Lad People Stadium. Michael had to make some adjustments. We didn't have any air conditioning, but we had to endure as well. We come back, we'll take a look at the second half highlights right here on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Hello, I'm Fester Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight you bring me joy. 90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere.
Welcome back to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Yes, if we look tired, it's because we are tired. Late night travel back from Mobile, Alabama. We're thankful for our traveling mercies and grace. Coach is 21-15 at the half. The Bulldogs gave up a safety in the first half after Southern misses an extra point. So there's another differential here. Some people may call it chasing a point. Yes, uh, six points now. Um, actually, you know, we was on target with 21, mm. but since they got the safety, that actually put us behind the point because now if they score a touchdown to kick an extra point, then it's 22-21. So you don't chase the points early um, because it's a lot of football, especially when it looks like it's a high-scoring football game. Um, mm. We was prepared in the fourth quarter uh, and that late drive in the third to go for two uh, once we scored. So, of course, the Bulldogs are getting ready to come on the field the second half. Your thoughts with everything going on, you're in a good position, you're in the league, but you have a young football team, so now their concentration level I'm sure you were concerned about. Yeah, I was. You know, I thought that we had um, we had retaken the momentum back in the second quarter there and then before the, the roughing opponent, but I, I thought if we could have got a score there, you know, they was ready to quit, you know, and we could have made them quit. But uh, we had the ball coming out, so – we just had to stay positive. I told the defense if they didn't score another point, they couldn't win. Mm. And, uh, and But we had the ball coming out, and what we wanted to do there, we wanted to drive it down and score and see what it was made of. Mm. And uh, we drove it down to the 30, and we got to the 30 on 4th and 10. And uh, we, was, we was going into the win, so I didn't want to kick the field goal. It had been a 47-yard into the mm. – and I didn't want to punt because if he kick it in the end zone, we're only going to gain 10 yards. Okay. So that's, that was why we went for it there. And, of course, the marching maroon and white – Gave a fabulous performance on Friday night as well as Saturday during the ball game at halftime. Here's a good swing pass here to Jordan Bentley. Yep, um, you know, just throw it out there five yards and let, let Bentley go to work. This is the drive the Bulldogs are talking about. Coach mentioned that it stalls out the 30-yard line. But here, Coach, we're in the booth thought that that was a catch. Yeah, um, it, it looked like it was a catch. I, I don't know what happened. You know, um, you know sometimes they see something different than what we see. People may want to know this, Coach. What kind of interaction are you allowed to have with the officials during a ball game? I mean, you can interact with them, uh, you know, as long as you don't cuss them and, and get too loud, you know, uh, where they feel disrespected, you know, it, it's okay. Um, they, they'll talk to you most of the time. Uh, some, of the, some of the answers they give you is ridiculous, but... <laughs> but at least they talk to you. Yeah. And here we thought again that Brian Jenkins Jr. was going to break one. Yeah, he, uh, he's close. He's close. We're close to breaking one. We need one more block. So, um, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. We need all 11 every play. So the score is now 29 to 21. It's still a one score game because a two point conversion would tie it up. And this is where we get serious. That the Bulldogs are coming out from the shadow of their own end zone and trying to get some yards the other way. Yeah, we got a good play right here, a little jet sweep to Octavius, and he made a good run behind Bentley's uh, block. And now Bentley got a good run there, gained eight yards, nine yards, and, and we're rolling. And now Southern starting deep in their own territory. We're trading field position a bit, Coach. And some of those decisions, nearly another interception by the Bulldog here. All right. And, and trying to trade field position, what is that about? It's crucial, you know, especially in a game like this, a close game, a tight game. Uh, uh, if you can keep that field position battle, you know, you, you're two first downs away from a field goal attempt, you know, when, you, when you're playing the field goal, field, field position game. So... It's important to keep field position. Number 51, Yurik Bethune, another one of the Mobilians in the ball game for the Bulldogs. A fine play by him, and the Bulldogs are still trying to keep Southern on their heels. Yeah, we made adjustment here uh, to the screen, and uh, we got there, and it looked like that was a fumble. Um, you know, it was a late whistle there. We already picked it up and took three or four steps, and then she blows it dead and says it was incomplete. So. Um, and here's a blocked field goal. And this was huge to keep it a one-possession one game and uh, give us a chance to score and go down and get a two-point conversion. And of course, the Bulldogs now, after a big play like that on defense, how does that energize the offense, Coach? Uh, tremendously, you know, now uh, the momentum swings back to us, uh, but we got to come out and take advantage of that, um, and that, that block field goal there and try to get some points out of it, which we didn't. And of course, now we see Southern's punter back in the ball game. We'd had a roughing the punter call against us, and he went out of the game. Looked like he was injured severely, but as Michael said, he's a soccer player, so he might have been faking it. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know how they do when they want the flags. You know, they try to act like they hurt more than they are. So, um, but here's Corus here. He came in, gave us a boost here in the fourth quarter, fresh legs, and uh, running ball hard. 
Uh, it's a good play by here. Um, um, this is John Glass working the pocket. Yes, sir. Changing the launch, launch point on the delivery, and here's Quarles again. Good runner up the middle, coach. Yeah, that's another great run by this guy. He's, he's a fiery little uh, uh, guy, and here's Akil pulling and making the right read here, and we got a, uh, another holding call here. I mean, just look at the tape, and you be the judge. Reggie Benson, our color analyst coach. Later on, we'll see Akil here's, score a touchdown on that play. Right. Here's a screen play. Uh, I thought he was going to get in right there, and the guy made a good open field tackle. Um, and so here we go, first and goal. I think he tried to pull that, and uh, he didn't. And so I think he's going to come back here and same play, and this time he pulls it. And now Glass scoring the touchdown. Bulldogs are two points away from tying up the ball game, and here's a two-point conversion. Yeah, we got what we want. We got the look we want here. They uh, got three people out there, two people. So we got the, run, the look we want. We're going to run power backside. And uh, their defense end just made a great play, man. He shot down and, and blew up the fullback and the pulling guard. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, he just made a great play. He, he, he shot down and uh, blew those two guys up. But we had the numbers. We had the look we wanted. Um, but that guy made a great play. I have to compliment you and your staff, Coach. It seems like you call the right play at the right time. Well, we try to. You know, like I say, we try to, we try to uh, read the defense, take advantage of what the defense is doing, call the plays, keep our guys – uh, doing things that they can do. You know, we don't want to try to ask the guys to do things they can't do. So mm -hmm. we try to keep it simple, play to our strengths and the defense weaknesses, and uh, try to keep the guys in a good play. We just got to do a little bit better job of executing and getting these guys in a little bit better uh, position and uh, net, teach them how to finish and teach them how to win. Um, mm -hmm. It's been a while since we had a winning season, and, uh, you know, these guys got to believe. They have to believe um, before the game, during the game, uh, halftime, fourth quarter, that we can win the football game. And, uh, and we'll start turning this thing around. The Bulldogs get the next opportunity for a victory this Saturday at Jackson, Mississippi, as we take on Jackson State University. We'll hear more about that when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Darrow brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight You bring me joy 90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. 
Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. The Bulldogs' next opportunity will be this Saturday, Jackson, Mississippi, visiting Jackson State University. Kickoff is scheduled for 2 o'clock p.m. The pregame show may be heard on 90.9 FM WJAB starting at 1.30 p.m. Coach, the third road game in a four-road game series. How are you feeling about this one? Um, we got to get we got to get a win. You know, um, we got to go back to the drawing boards. Keep working. The guys are playing hard. Um, we see that we can play with anybody. You know, mm -hmm. we we mm -hmm. we had Southern right where we wanted them. We just didn't finish the job, and they got a great program and and a, and a great football team. So um, we know we got a good football team. Uh, we just got to finish these things off, and uh, we got to get a W this week at Jackson on the road. So we got to have a good week. Um, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then we'll travel Friday and get a practice probably here before we leave. And uh, we got to go to Jackson and get a W. The Bulldogs' next home game will be homecoming against Alcorn State University. But on Monday evenings at 6 o'clock, you may join us at Applebee's on North Memorial Parkway for Bulldog Talk with Coach Maynard and others. Come on in and meet the coach and have a word or two with him and see what Coach Maynard information he imparts to you. Coach, any final words from you? Uh, yeah, just... Uh, for the fans and alumni, keep your heads up. Um, we still control our own destiny. Uh, Southern is in other divisions, so we went out our division. Of course, we have one loss, but everybody else have one loss. We'll, ha we'll win the head-to-head, -head, so we can still win our, our division. We still got a lot to play for, and go Bulldogs. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. We'll see you next week when hopefully we're talking about another Bulldog victory. Point nine WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight you bring me joy 90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University